So this video is just looking at tuples in, in Python, so making a tuple. So you might have um, made lists um, and you might have uh, looked at other types of data structures, but tuple is one that's it's maybe not used all that often. But the difference between a tuple and a list is tuples are uh, not able to be added to. So once you've created the tuple, you can't add to it, you can't remove things from it, can't change items in it. Um, so it's it's a structure that you can't uh, alter. Unlike a list that you probably know about where you can add things to lists or remove them from the list or whatever you want to um, at will. Um, so you might find the structure useful if you've got a set of items that you want to check something against. Uh, you know, is, is the item in this list or in this tuple? Um, you might want to do that. It means the items will never be changed. You might add um, a set of answers to a quiz or something like that in a tuple so that those answers are never removed or changed. So that kind of thing might be a, a use for it. Um, so unlike um, a list, as I say, you can't add things to it. And unlike a set, uh, which is another type of structure, then um, you can have duplicate items in a tuple. So sets you can't, but tuples you can. So all we've done here on this bit of code um, is you, we've made a list. So the list that we've made is called my list. And I've just made a blank list here on line two. So then we've added some items to that list using a for loop. So four loops here. So for i in, the, in range 0 to 5, so 0 to 5 in Python, that's going to give us items 0, 1, 2, 2, 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. We'll try that again. 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So it does give us five items, but you'll notice that the upper limit of the range stops one before that. In range 0 to 5 will give us five items, but it will stop the loop at when it gets up to four. So next item equals input enter a list item. So we're just getting an item from the user and then appending it to the list. So we can append items to lists, but we can't append them to tuples. So we could have written the tuple straight away just by saying um, my tuple equals and then these kind of brackets and just putting Fred, etc. in there. But this is an easier way for us to really to create whatever we want in this tuple. So then later on down here, line 11, my tuple equals tuple my list. So what we've done there is used a tuple constructor to make a tuple out of the list. So that's a, what they call a constructor. So this idea of tuple brackets and then sending it something constructs the tuple. So we've printed it and then we've done this bit of code down here which finds out the data type for us. So if we look at what we did over this side, um, the code when it runs, one, two, three, four, five items we've just asked for. And then the first printout is where we printed on line eight, whereas we printed a list. And you can see it's got the square brackets there. And then here, it's the second time we printed out when we've made it into a tuple. And you can see it's now got the round brackets. And the last line here, is where we've printed the type, the data type, and it says class tuple. So that's just the way of creating a tuple in Python.